Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. Today I will be doing an unboxing and review on Agaro ice cream maker. Uh, my family love ice cream a lot and I do make ice cream at home but sometimes I get crystals in it and also it's a bit tedious to follow the process. I was always double minded on buying an ice cream maker as it was not an essential product and I felt it was a bit pricey for me. But this time when I saw this cute little device, yeah and of course the price was pretty less, I thought why not buy it this time. This ice cream maker comes in a black box. It has the power, voltage, capacity and uh, net weight written in it. The price is also mentioned but yeah of course I didn't have to pay this much. It was on offer. I bought it through Amazon. If you wish to buy this product, I'll put the link in the description box. This ice cream maker is of 1.2 liter capacity and it has a detachable bowl. This is a great feature which I like about this ice cream maker. Different parts of this ice cream maker is mentioned here like the top cover is there. Then we have the paddle attachment. We have the detachable bowl and the outer body and the power switch. This product has an inbuilt one year warranty but once you receive the product if you register in their website within 30 days then uh, you will get an extra three months warranty also. This is our cute little device. I love the color. Uh, it has the name of the company written on it very beautiful design this is the power code now I'll open this up and show you all the parts it is very easy to open this is the paddle attachment it's very easy to take it out this is uh, made of plastic this is the knob on which we place the paddle attachment it is a bit loose but that's how it is meant to be this white portion is the motor this is the shield which protects the motor from any spillage. It can be easily removed. Once you make your ice cream, you can remove this easily and wash this. Be careful that you don't put any water on the motor. For placing it back, just keep it in the correct groove and just press it down. This is the power on and off button. And this portion is the opening through which we pour the ice cream liquid. This is the bowl. We have an outer bowl and inside is the freeze bowl. You can easily lift the freeze bowl. The freeze bowl has some freezing solution in it. When you shake this bowl gently, you can feel the liquid. So be very careful with this bowl. You need to freeze this bowl minimum 12 hours before making ice cream. You have to put this in a plastic cover and place it in the freezer at a temperature of minus 18 degrees celsius or below this is the outer bowl once the freeze bowl is frozen we need to place this into the plastic bowl
Place the paddle attachment onto the knob or spindle. It's very easy to place it. It looks loose but that's how it is meant to be. Now just place the top lid onto the bowl. There is a groove on the side. You have to just place it on the groove and then turn it. This is the groove. It's very easy to lock and unlock. This comes with a manual. Model name is Maple. All the safety precautions and how to use this ice cream maker, everything is mentioned in this. There are some recipes also given. It's very simple and easy to follow. Of course, ice cream maker is not a necessity, but if you are a person who loves ice cream, I would suggest you to get an ice cream maker so that you can churn out some yummy ice cream at your home. Before reviewing this product, I have made ice cream twice now. This is a Oreo ice cream that I made. It tasted almost like a store bought ice cream. It was a really soft and smooth. There was no ice crystals in it. I really loved it. Of course, store bought ice cream has a lot of emulsifiers and preservatives added in it. But this doesn't have any of them. So it's really safe to make ice cream at home. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to make ice cream in this ice cream maker. Till then, bye!